Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. How are you today? We're getting ready to do your reading, the reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna Wilder Hart. If you would like to win a free reading with me, please check the contest details. Like, subscribe, share, and comment is a way, one way to enter the contest or e emailing me is another. So let's see here. Let's. What we have here is the moon card for your energy, Capricorn, feeling very much underwater, feeling as though you're in separation from your person. You don't really understand. This person really brings out the happiness in you. You feel very delighted and happy when you're with this person. But we're really getting this energy that right now the sun is not shining on you. You are looking forward to a chance to, you know, meet up with them. But I'm also getting a lot of ego conflict right now for the two of you. We have this energy of manifestation in your energy. You want to have a win with this person. You want to introduce them to your friends. You really want to manifest this happy space. When things are good between the two of you, think you feel as though they're the best that you've ever experienced in your life. But right now, that moon card says that you feel very insecure. Your person may not be talking to you, um, but it looks as though the two of you have had some sort of very difficult battle, ego battle, battle of wills, okay. Your person is feeling very loving towards you, Capricorn. We have the Three of Pentacles. They want to work things out with you. We have the... I like it. We have the King of Pentacles. That's Taurus energy. Very grounded, very stable. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. The Ten of Coins. They really want to build a legacy with you. They want this relationship with you. They want it to be very stable. The Knight of Swords is a person who's very bold and very blunt. They have something that they've been holding back that they want to say. I do get the Ten of Swords energy. This person feels as though they may have to walk away from the relationship. So we also see that there's this energy that they are, they're a lightweight in this relationship. So let's see what your mutual energy is. Let's see, we have the Ten of Cups. You really love each other. That is happily ever after. Again, the Queen of Cups, loving somebody so much that you're overly emotional. So you're very dramatic and very emotional with each other. The Eight of Coins is you're working on the relationship. And here we have yet another card that says that the two of you may have to be apart. That uh, Ten of Wands is letting go of burdens, you know, going forward. But for you, Capricorn, this looks very threatening. Both of you, however, are in a situation in which you feel like you have to heal. So we're going to jump into this reading with all the clarifiers and see what this means. But I feel very much that there's a lot of sadness here. You feel underwater, but your person feels like they have to leave. You both feel as though there's going to be a separation from which will be very, very difficult for you. It doesn't look like either of you want this. This person is walking off very sadly. So I'm not really seeing a breakup specifically, but what we have here is the moon card says that your person wants to throw caution to the wind. They want to feel good. This person really loves you and they don't really talk about how much they love you. They're thinking about what that means, Capricorn. You are invested in this person. But I'm also getting, again, there's a, there's been a very bad fight. A fight that really leaves both of you feeling as though you may not be able to make this relationship work. The Five of Swords is, is pretty brutal. There is, for some of you, this could be a very bitter divorce, but I'm not seeing the Justice card. So it just may be a bitter argument that has transpired here. 
yep, here we go. Now your person also feels that whatever was said in this argument, because somebody spoke very bluntly, that they may have to walk away. That's the Eight of Cups to find more satisfaction. So that's you, Capricorn, feeling as though you have to walk away. Your person feels as though you may have said something to them or they, you know, part of the argument was spurned on by them. But whatever was said, they feel very much like they're stable and maybe you don't have the same stability that they do. When we get pages, we know your person is making an offer of love, but the devil card is associated with it. So we see that, you know, in this energy, the Ten of Swords, that's feeling stabbed in the back and your person walking away. When we get this Leo energy, there is a lot of pride here. A lot of ego involved with that, as is the case. Capricorn with the Six of Wands, it's Leo energy. And so pride may be standing in the way here of the relationship moving forward. I feel as though you might have told this person that you are not happy about something and that they feel uh, that it's ego driven with all this Leo energy, but you it's almost like you... I wouldn't say you gave them an ultimatum, but you may have said something that they perceived as an ultimatum, and now we have the moon card and the moon card. So you revealed something to them about how you feel about the relationship in terms of stability. The Seven of Wands, they feel very defensive about this. They feel as though, you know, they really haven't done anything wrong. Tell us what else here, please, is, is the energy. The strength card. This person loves you very much. So we have two people who love each other a great deal and who are just, you don't seem to be coming together in terms of how the relationship should be managed. I don't really see this as any lack of love, although, interestingly enough, Capricorn, your person has, you know, this Ace of Cups here, and in your individual energy, you have the King of Cups. A lot of this, though, says that you know, you want what you want. We do have the Empress of Manifestation, though. So let's see, why is the Nine of Swords here? Aha, uh -huh, Leo Energy. So your person feels as though there's been some sort of emotional betrayal in this conversation. They feel very wounded. They feel like they might not have a choice. But here, oh, look at this, beautiful. So your mutual energy is that you might have come home from a fun night out. Nine of Cups is eat, drink, be merry. It, can, it literally is a drinking card. But it's also one of great love. It's like your favorite people. And it looks as though you might have been out with friends or you might have been talking to your friends. And you might have shared, you know, something about the relationship with them. And I'm getting that, but the, your mutual energy here is one of great love, happily ever after. The Queen of Cups, the King of Cups. You know, we have this Eight of Coins here, which is both of you trying to work on the relationship. And the Ten of Wands saying that, you know, it's been a heavy burden. The relationship is not a comfortable match. I would just say you're probably very different as people. Um, but it does show that when we get the devil card, that you feel as though your person is a lightweight. You feel they're taking the easy way out on some things. You feel that they're not coming through for you. And you feel it's a choice. This is like a power struggle, usually, the power struggle card. Okay, so now when we look at what's going on in your mutual energy, back to this again, we do see that both of you have the same goal in mind. You know, again, your person's very, very desirous of a marital relationship. I'm not seeing the same energy with you. You want to be happy. You want to manifest. But when I get this energy, I do, I get that you would like a marriage, but you want to make sure that it is secure. So why do we have the Queen of Cups here in your energy, Capricorn? Two of Swords energy. So there's something about the emotionality of the relationship or how it makes both of you feel that seems problematic. When we look at giving up the burdens, it's clarified by hermit energy, which is 
in your energy field up here, Capricorn. So you feel as though this, this relationship simply may not be able to go the distance. Your person feels the same way. You both feel separated from each other. For some of you in this story, there may be literally a physical separation, which is why you're feeling the hermit. You know, we have this Ten of Swords energy. It could be having to go somewhere for a job. Um, for some of you, you may be, you know, in love with somebody who lives in another country. And with lockdown, you know, we're seeing that it's really burdensome. The healing card really makes me think also of pandemic. So for some of you, there may be a really simple answer is that, you know, you're in quarantine. Look at that quarantine. Yep. Having to leave, having a burden, having to leave for quarantine. Um, let's look and see what we have for the Moonology deck because there's a couple of layers of story here in which both of you feel very unsatisfied. You love each other very deeply and yet you it's almost as though circumstances are tearing you apart. So let's see what we have here. The energy is gaining momentum. Okay, so that's that's a good energy for the two of you. Okay. Don't let pride get in your way. Okay, so you are having some sort of power struggle is how I'm seeing this. You have an ongoing argument that you don't seem to be able to work through. Um, I want to look at the fairy oracle for you to see if we can find out and the underlying cause of the argument. So let's see what Spirit has to say with the Fairy Oracle for you. This is a blessing. Whatever's happening now is a blessing. The Fairy of Youth means that you're both being a little immature. Okay, when we get the Thief card, that's problematic, and I'm not going to assign that to either one of you. The Thief card is telling me that someone in the relationship is trying to gain unfair advantage. So let's see if we can see who is this person. It, it shows a masculine entity, but it's just an energy. What do we need to know about this Thief? The Shadow of the Past. Okay. So... I'm getting this feeling that, you know, something that happened in the past in your relationship. It could be an infidelity. It could be anything where one of you was blindsided by the other. But there's an argument from the past that has to be resolved. And right now, it's tearing at the fabric of the relationship, remembering. Again, that could be an infidelity, but it also could be feeling abandoned. It could be a period of time in which you know you didn't talk it could be a time in which there was some devil energy childish behavior that you know was very manipulative when I get the devil card with the page of cups the energy of your person looks as though they were doing something texting communicating pages are messages right they're messengers and uh, you, it looks as though you, you might be feeling as though your person is, um, you know, messaging another person that they're stealing, you know, the love out of the relationship. That there may be, you may feel as though this person wants to leave you to go back to somebody else. But the truth of the matter is, is that both of you really want this relationship. Both of you want this to work out, but there is a kind of a ghost of Christmas past energy that needs to be resolved here. So an old wound has festered up and has re-entered the relationship. Let's look at the bottom of the deck here. We have the Fool card, the Ace of Wands, the Nine of Cups again, moving slowly towards an answer. So when we look at your outcome, what we're seeing here is a successful new beginning in this relationship. 
Nine of Cups. I do feel as though you do something celebratory. It looks like you might go off on a vacation or an adventure, or you may plan one, but I'm getting that you are at this time coming into this Knight of Pentacles energy, the willingness to do the work, the willingness to put the relationship first. Yeah, Three of Swords. I, again, for many of you with the lover's card. So there could have been an infidelity at some point that has is making both of you feel very vulnerable now. But we have temperance. That's reconciliation. It does look like the two of you are going to be able to get counseling or you're going to be able to spiritually come together. I get the death card. There is a rebirth in the relationship, but if this weren't, if you don't make the decision to have a fresh new beginning, start over, put the past behind you, it does look like um, Capricorn, you look, you feel more wounded, I think, than your person does. So it is something you're going to have to put firmly in the past. A uh, few, one or two more messages from the Oracle of ancestors and ancients okay let's see what it's going to suggest you do we have the sun enjoy success and happiness enjoy success and happiness we have the sun card right here so getting out of your head getting out of the past if you have forgiven some sort of indiscretion large or small you're going to have to work through that problem because right now what this is showing me is that if you don't heal the past wound the relationship will not make it and that's really come to a head right now move beyond ancestral patterns okay so it really is about claiming your happiness and living in the moment and letting uh being able to forgive but not forget. So Capricorn, it's been a joy. Send some love. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from. Thank you. Bye-bye Capricorn.